Swatty Cap. <laughs> and welcome to today's vlog. Now today's vlog is me at the Selic Fet Fishing Village. With this guy and his wife. He's just getting his boat all ready. He's just come in. So he's probably now going to go out. Swatty Cap. Swatty Cap for his day of fishing. Now he's got all these lights on here. They're all for the squid. They're like, they're like 2,000 watt sodium bulbs. And they are for the squid. And he's got all his, all his gear all on this little boat. Oh, and his rods for the bigger fish. Look at these sodium lamps. Years ago, you would have grown weed with those lamps. Probably some people still are, but the amount of heat they give off, it's incredible. So you need a big O extractor if you're using them for weed. So don't use them for squid. Get yourself a squid boat. Now this is a little part of the fishing village that's right here in these mango groves, which is, oh man, it's really cool. This lot here has seen better days as it's now starting to collapse as they're building new builds all over here. Oh man, again, all these markers for the boats are where the guys will put their shrimp or their squid pots or lobster pots. Just doing a little bit of the netting. Swaddy Cap, good morning. Good day, just there on his boat. As I now, oh man, wicked spider just hanging around. <laughs> just hanging around as I now walk back towards the restaurant. <laughs> yes, yes, as much as I like walking about this fishing village and I love all things to do with fishing. I mean, this boat, all the little bits of gatry trees got everywhere, all his bulbs, all his fishing gear. It's quite something to see. That's what he kept, cup on, cup on cap. And he is, he's just getting ready. I think he's now filling up his stock his holding pots with water just in case if he do catch something he's got the big spinners on here if he if he's fishing out for any um predatory fish the guy has got it going on boom, nice people so i'm walking into the restaurant which is just here good day buddy good day and it is a cool spot for me I've not had any seafood in a long time, but if I remember correctly, the seafood in this restaurant is some of the best seafood you're ever, ever gonna be served on a plate. So I'm going in. It actually isn't. Should be able to get me, all my food there and eat. Yeah, we're going go po, man. We're going with that. <laughs> okay, we're on. Let me put them, that is tomato sauce. I have had to ask for the lime. Well, lemon, we do have, hang on, keeping this in camera view, we do have our squid has arrived. Deep fried squid is awesome. Now, it, 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 there's not a restaurant I've been into yet in Thailand that have actually had malt vinegar. Because oh, this stuff is crucial with malt vinegar. But if no vinegar, Anyway, we're getting any acid on there. It's for a little bit of lime. Mm. Pretty good. Squid. Not squid ring, so it would have been a big squid. That's pretty good with that lime. It really is. It needs lime or lemon. You've got to have some acid on your squid. Crispy as well and very fresh. Mmm. Scallops, on the other hand. <laughs> I'm used to scallops. Mmm. I bit my tongue. I'm used to scallops being that size after they're cooked. But that, <laughs> that's the size of my thumbnail, man. All oh, right, it's an itty bitty diddy scallop. Mmm, mmm. Well, that's fried in that garlic and pepper. There's a slight sweetness there as well. 
So it's actually, even though <laughs> that one's tiny, that one's like my little finger, but they're pretty good. Mm, and that crispy garlic. Gives it that unique flavour. But mm. Aha. last and by no means least, got a little bit more lime because we have a very local shrimp. We get a little bit of that lime on there. We get a little bit more lime on that scallops, a lime, lemon, vinegar, and salt are crucial. The seafood, it's about it. Tomato sauce, and put that in the bin. <laughs> we'll give it to my mate for his chicken nuggets and his chips. Right, so what are the prawns like? Obviously these prawns, one would assume, with so many prawn and, sorry, shrimp, shrimp farms about, these would actually be pretty local. They're very good. They are really succulent prawns. Shrimps, sorry. These aren't prawns, these are shrimps. And they are, they're, they're cooked in chili, but they are, they're really, really um, squishy. Mmm. <laughs> they are mega, mega fresh. A lot of the times when you get shrimps from other restaurants, you'll notice that they're a little bit firm these are not. No, they're, they're, they're really soft and very well cooked in the same sense. Mmm. Mmm. They are good. They are very good. <laughs> all in all, it's a good seafood restaurant with a very good reputation for good, fresh seafood. Not a bad start to the day. This is breakfast, by the way. It's my breakfast. It's only about 11 o'clock. Mm. Mm. Now, those scallops, they may be tiny, but they are. They're full of flavour. They're really good. And the crispy garlic with them always just, just complements them perfectly. Just need a little bit of vinegar. Oh, man. So if you come in a church, Ko Chang, and you do like seafood, and you would like to sit in a really nice environment right here in the Fisherman's Village, and this Selic Fet seafood restaurant, it's definitely worth a visit. Oh, I need another one of these, so cheers. Mm. I need another one of them. So until next time, bon appetit.